hello everyone welcome to this beautiful video on this beautiful channel today i'm going to talk about how to configure code blocks for debugging this video is going to be an addition to my code block series if you haven't checked that i'm going to advise you to check it out and you can also subscribe to the channel to few more series on code blocks and other softwares in this video we are not going to talk about how to debug your code whether you are writing python code c++ code or c but I'm just going to talk about how to configure code blocks for debugging. Don't forget, I made mention of code blocks as an IDE for programming C or C++. So, let's get started. This is my code blocks environment. What I'm going to do now is to create a new project. Now, I have a lot of options here to create from templates, build target, files, custom, and user template. What I'm going to do is to select console application. You click go. Now I'm going to stick skip this. Don't forget I'm writing C. So let me give my project a title. I'm going to title this project debugging. And it automatically creates a file name for us, which is debugging.cbp. I'm going to click next. I encourage you to leave all this unaltered. So here I have my new projects. We have our main.cpp here. So this is the auto-generated code. Main.cpp, we have our code to simply print hello world. Yeah, as you can see, I created a small code to print hello world 10 times on the console. This is not really a debugging class, so we won't, we won't be doing much of debugging. Now, if you just download your code blocks, your debugging might not be available from the two bars. You can see there's nothing like debug. What you have to do is go to view, go to perspective, two bar. Here you are going to see debugger. See, debugger is not checked. We have our browser tracker checked, code completion checked, compiler checked. What you have to do is to check the debugger. So once you check this, you are going to see now you have debug continue and debugging tools are not available now if you run your debug for the first time if you just download your code blocks debugger might not work so what you have to do is come to settings come to compiler now here we have a lot of options for us compiler settings linker settings search directories what you have to do is to come to tool chain executives now you come over here you see gdb cdb debugger you set it to default just leave it as default now this way you are going to auto come here where we have resource compiler double click on this line now here we have a lot of files for us to use as the debugger what you can do what you have what you have to do is to come to gdb32.exe you click here and you click open that's all you click ok now we are not done what you have to do is to come back to settings click on debugger now we have our debugger settings default. Now here we have to alter the file, for the directory for our debugger. Double click on this line. Select the same thing which is gdb32.exe and click open. And here we have to type gdb32.exe. So click OK. And here it's already selected as default. But if CDB, CDB is selected, you have to select GDB leave all this as it is then click ok now you are good to go for debugging this is not a debugging class so we will be doing much of debugging you can act, add your breakpoint back by coming to this line click you can add the breakpoints and you can remove so if you want to set your watches you want to open your watches you can come to debug debugging windows and open watches so here, as you, are, as you are debugging the code, you are going to be seeing your watches, the variables that has been set, and others. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I want you to know this. In the beginning of the class, I have a dark background in my working environment. Now I have white. If you want to know more about how to change this to black or how to change this to white, 
you can check my code block series thank you very much